<clears throat> I was talking with my grandmother. Last night she's in Ukraine. She's not feeling very well health wise. And I don't know when will the war be over. When will this insanity end? When will I see her again? This is just so wrong. What's happening? I have family both in Ukraine and Russia. My mom is in Canada. My uncle is in Russia. My brother is in Poland. I'm in Peru. When the war started, I was in Cuba. It was so surreal to be in Cuba and like this place where that time appears to have stopped 50 years ago with both American cars, the old Pontiacs, Chevrolets from the 50s, 60s, and the Soviet Moskvich and Lada cars. They were living coexisting in the same space and then seeing that that just like massacre happening seeing that on the news which is like really even hard to connect to there being in cuba there is no wi-fi almost anywhere you can find now there is cell phone you can get a sim card which is still like very basic but at least you you can get it now anyway i don't know what to do i don't understand this young guys 20 years old die every day because some fucking idiot in Kremlin, some old fuck decided that some piece of land somehow belongs to him and because of that thousands and thousands of guys or kids or people have to die They never get to see what their purpose of life was, why they were born, what was the great mission, what they had to share with the world. They'll never get to see that, experience that. Because some fucking retard with a lot of power decided. Like that's how it's going to be like and at the, at the same time we have Elon Musk sending rockets to explore space to go to other planets and we are killing each other destroying the land poisoning the environment wasting billions of dollars that could have been used for the benefit of everybody living there in that region. We are using it to funnel the budget money from both countries, from many countries, which is at the end of the day all society's money, not not some political figure at the top who decides to do it. 
no, it's it's what we are all work as a humanity in our day-to-day -day activity. It's what we generate, we produce part of that. It's going to the budget of the country, of the region. And whoever is in charge decides to channel that energy towards destruction, war. You profit from the manufacturing, the sales process of weapons and the rest just suffers and the whole thing is being reframed in the mind in the polar opposite ways of depend on which part of the order you are you justify somehow this killing and the massacre of thousands of people and growing up in ukraine being born in ukraine starting the school there then moving to another country going to a russian school having to learn russian having friends from there growing, growing up and believing that uh, we are one as I, we have been told we are brothers we share so many things going from that to being bombarded and genocided how do you how do you want to keep living in this kind of world in this kind of society what's the fucking purpose of it i see no point why wake up in the morning why pursuing what are we trying to accomplish as fucking humanity if one day we're building something together the next day we are killing each other. What's the fucking purpose of studying, of going to work? What is it? Like imagine somebody all their life working, building something like my grandpa, building farming equipment, so architect designer of a factory that was manufacturing the farming equipment that was exporting it to Cuba, to Canada in the 70s and 80s. He was a chief engineer of a factory. My other grandpa was the manager of hotels. When the Soviet Union collapsed, we are both left with nothing. There were trees growing on the factory roof 20 years later. The whole thing collapsed. Where well, was the smartest guy sold all the factory equipment as precious metals, as a scrap metal, became a millionaire billionaire. under the money by investing into some business making ketchup or candy and became the oligarch and got into politics there's are people with no values because people with values were were lost when the whole thing collapsed they didn't know what to do they were used to a system where there is a direction of a centralized direction of what to do. So when the whole thing collapsed, the more entrepreneurial style people, but with not a lot of morals, they got control of the country and of the politics in both 
Ukraine, Russia, and other republics, ex-republics. So whom does this war benefit? beyond all the narratives that are being told. Why my grandma couldn't see her sister that died in Russia because of health and she couldn't visit her sister in Ukraine. They lived and work, give all their energy the society to build something all their life and when their life was coming to an end this is what they get they cannot even go and visit each other they have to live alone far away so, what is the purpose of me pursuing something like if we're so insane as humanity? What is the guarantee that 10 years from now, what I'm doing now and building now won't get destroyed because some lunatic that's in power is going to decide so? Like, what are protection guarantees what's the purpose then of anything okay. what we claim to be Christians Have you read the Bible? Have you read the Ten Commandments? Who is Christian? Is there a Christian in this world? Like, if our governments do not adhere to the Christian values and the commandments, and like, why do we even have churches? Like, come on, it's just like so hypocritical everything all these religions we have these commandments and none of nobody's following them on the grand scheme of things on the highest level of society the jews keep killing muslims muslims killing jews we both are monotheistic and have the same principles and commandments of kill The Buddhist philosophy of ahimsa, no killing, no violence. That the, the only thing that makes sense. But whenever the desire, or the mystical desire, comes in, it seems like everything just been forgotten. None of that is existing. People just go and kill each other like crazy. Like if we have these values in place and we have the United Nations, then we have to decide that the production of weapon is illegal act. People that manufacture and produce weapons are the criminals, they're number one criminals that should be incarcerated. The production of the weapons should be stopped, or weapons should be destroyed. If we want to live in a world of peace, everybody wants to live in a world of peace. Why do we even have 
the weapons then to protect from whom. At some point, these weapons, the intention of it, when you manufacture something to kill, is to use this to kill. There is no such thing as like protection if there are no existing weapons in the entire world. There's nothing to protect from. The worst thing that can happen, well, you just get punched in the face. I think we can live with that. Like, if we don't shift to a new consciousness, I can't believe, like, we have such high technologies, artificial intelligence that can do such mind-blowing things now. We're flying to space, we can explore other planets, we can create new technologies, we can build a better world for everybody, we can use this energy for more renewable resources, renewable energy projects, reforestation, building healthy, safe environments, and yet we are using it to kill each other, to fight, to destroy. It's like, what's the fucking point? When is this gonna fucking end? I just wanna go to Ukraine, I wanna help my grandma. I want to see my family unite. Why we're all spread out and throughout the world. I have no money to go see my family. Being from such a rich land, rich country, I don't even have a home. I speak five languages. studied in five countries, I've traveled the world, I love traveling the world, everybody, people are the same, they're pink inside, doesn't matter the color, doesn't matter the language, everybody is the same, we're all one, like, when, we're gonna understand this and live it, live by it. When are we going to stop listening to the propaganda, to the bullshit that we are being fed through the media or the mass media because somebody's paying for it. It's a huge ass marketing campaign sponsored by those who have interest in whatever the product they are selling in case of war, it's weapons. Oh, fuck. Can you just listen to your fucking retarded music? Out in sex, drugs, just stupidity in general. Do your little TikTok dances. Sell your pussy on OnlyFans. Shake your ass. Masturbate. Don't think. Smoke weed. Shut the fuck up. Make money. Fuck bitches. That's fucking easy, though. Why, why think? Just fuck thinking. Fuck thinking. Fuck anything. Just. So good fucking. Yeah. 